Hey guys, I'm fabric shopping. And I am looking for fabric for December daily journals because um, I'm at the Fabric Depot and they happen to have the cutest Christmas fabric. So I thought I'd show you guys. So I'm really liking these prints. It's called the Nordic Stitches. There's like different colors and, and all that. It like reminds me of a Christmas sweater. Yeah, buddy. And there's some cute vintage looking fabrics too. Okay hey guys, so these are some that look more vintage. Like I definitely want to get this one, but it's also like more playful, so I don't know. Um, but I definitely want to get at least one of these. I don't know if I will today. These ones are definitely more classic. This is flannel, but it's pretty thin. So I definitely think this would be good. With like the last year's Michael's, uh, I think Pinecone Lodge. Really cute. And then the icy blues. I definitely want to do another journal. And these colors, super cute. Yeah, this is getting me excited. And then they got the reds and greens. Let me give you guys an idea of how big this place is. Because they have all kinds of stuff, not just fabric, but not too much like paper crafting stuff, but some. And a bike and a cute kid. All right, this one's so cute too, guys. And we got Halloween too, which I should be looking at Halloween stuff first, right? <laughs> I should. But wow, that's creepy, creepy. Zombie. Some pretty cool prints over here. I like this one. Anything, you know, vintage looking. You know, you can use like buttons and things for embellishments. So I'm looking for elastic because I'm making like a traveler's notebook type junk journal. So this is where I'm going to get it, I believe. I won't film you. You can see all of the different trims and things they have. They have a ton. They do have, um, oh, let's see, they have lace. But I will say the lace is a little expensive here. Some are not, but they typically always have coupons here. So um, I do get it sometimes when I need something very specific, you know, that I can't find. All of the embroidery floss that you can imagine they have. I used to use this to bind my books, but it makes me a little nervous because I just feel like it's not as durable as the thread I use now. But it is great for other projects. Oh. Yes, it is. We probably shouldn't rub our hands all over it. You cute boy. Wow. Wouldn't you guys like a journal out of this? They got all the hoops and things. I mean, I don't know if you guys are interested in this type of a shop with me video, but definitely let me know. They have some dyes. I think these are for clothes. They got some stencils and magnets. Just kind of a bunch of random stuff. Dowels for different projects. Hey look, cheesecloth. Should I use these little labels and put my name on these? Those are kind of funny. And it might actually look kind of cool because they they definitely remind me of something kind of vintage, handmade by. And then they have tons of ribbons that are by the yard. Wow, look how pretty these are. I've actually been on the hunt for lace that is kind of like this. Like, I don't know what you call it, but the cascades down, I guess. Zippers galore. All the thread you can imagine. More thread, dun dun dun, lots of velcro. Oh, I just remembered that I do need velcro, but I don't know if this would be the best place to buy it. Um, I made like a little fabric pouch for one of my junk journals. I thought it would be kind of a cute spot to put some necessities. Hey look, they have some of, wow guys. I wish, you can't tell how big this is probably, but this is huge. I can't believe how big this is. This die cutting machine, it's a, the Big Shot Pro, $2.99. And they have the, the dye? some dyes they have and they have all kinds of dyes and stuff and we could literally be here all day if we wanted <laughs> this makes it easy 25% off everything all month long hey, guys look at all of this like superhero no, these are fabrics what a cool journal yeah. that would make transformer, oh, transformer. that's awesome oh. they just have so so many um, types of fabric I think it would be cool just to pick a cool cool fabric and have kind of a more blank journal inside. Yeah, bud, what'd you find? Oh, my little pony, Shopkins. What'd you find, bud? Look how cute this is, guys. It's, oh, 
Hope you can see that, this little Bambi. That's adorable. I'm not sure if I can use Disney fabric to create like a journal and sell it. All right, I thought I would check out the clearance really quick. <laughs> see if there's anything. <laughs> can you guys see this? I think it's, oh, that is cute. Alice in Wonderland. Kind of a cute Christmas print, but I don't know guys. I'm feeling really indecisive today. Okay, then we got some remnants over here. So let's see. Ooh, this is really cool. I wish you could see. It's a really cool texture. All right guys, I was really tempted to get some fabric, but I just, I don't want to buy the fabric until I have like the inside papers planned out and I have like almost no Christmas paper. I do have some, but it's like pre-cut for a smash book. Anyways, I just got some thread. I got two threads. What's the best way to buy thread? Like online or, I mean, I don't know. So this blue one's cool because it like, it has light blues and dark blues and I'm going to use it for um, this beachy journal that I'm finishing up. I should be finished by now, but ugh. It's been so hard to get things done with Hans out of town. Um, and then I'm getting two black elastics for the travel journal that I was talking about. But yeah, I feel really behind. I feel behind on the summer release that I wanted to get up um, like the first week of August, but I think it's probably gonna be like more like the second week of August. And um, I have a ton of journals started. I just I have not had much time. Anyways, guys, enough of that. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you want to see more shop with me videos, like just random places, and I will film it while we're shopping. See you guys later. Bye.